Hey guys, so in this video I'll show you how to case harden your tools with induction. What I'm going to do is take these low carbon steel bolts and harden each of them with a different method. I'm going to heat up one to the temperature with the induction heater and then quench it in warm water. The next bolt will be hardened using the case hardening compound. The last two bolts will be hardened with a process known as cryogenic hardening. After heating the steel up to a cherry red color, the steel is rapidly cooled to sub-zero temperatures. Cryogenic hardening results in a material that has a deeper hardened casing and is less prone to rust. Gears, firing pins, and other parts that require impact resistance as well as abrasion resistance are great candidates for case hardening. The way I'll be testing each heat treating process is using this set of hardness files that I have. I'll put a link in the description where you can get these. Basically the way they work is each file is a different hardness and they'll be able to tell me how hard each of these bolts are going to be within five points on the Rockwell scale. And the way case hardening works is you basically impregnate the outer surface of the steel with carbon using a case hardening compound like this. So this basically has carbon as well as some other chemicals in it. Before you do any case hardening, you'll want to polish the surface of the steel that you'll be attempting to harden. Okay, for the sub-zero quenching fluid, I'm going to be using isopropyl alcohol because it has a freezing point of negative 128.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to be using this dry ice to cool it down. Okay, so now that the isopropyl's had some time to cool, let's see how cold it is. Yeah, negative 95 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so here we have the case hardening compound and warm water. Now the reason you want to quench with warm water is due to the laden frost effect. It'll actually cool your part down quicker if the water is warm versus cold. And this is the same reason you could stick your hand in liquid nitrogen without it freezing. So what basically happens is when liquid comes in contact with a surface that's much hotter than the boiling point, it basically forms a little bubble shield around the part. And this keeps it from cooling down as quickly. So you want to warm up your water with a scrap piece of steel first.
After testing the bolts with the hardness files, I doused them with salt water and let them set outside for a few days in the Florida heat. What I found from my testing was that not only were the case hardened bolts harder, but they also were less prone to rust. The two bolts that were cryogenically hardened seemed to have rusted even less. According to the information on cryogenic hardening, it doesn't produce a harder surface than ordinary case hardening, but it produces a deeper casing that is even more rust resistant. The great thing about this process is that it can be repeated until the desired hardness is achieved. You can use the techniques shown in this video to harden screwdrivers, drill bits, and any other steel tools you can think of. In the next video, I'll show you how to make an induction coil that levitates aluminum. See you next time.